What is up guys, El Chad here with the final stage, the Laguna Seca stage of the Ferrari Rising Special Event in RR3. We will have 5 goals in this stage, with a couple of them quite challenging due to speed related goals. As always, timestamps are available in the description down below. However, goal number 1 is pretty straightforward with the no off track, no skidding, and no damage autocross. So you just have to win this one. No commentary here, I'm afraid. Sorry guys. So if you want commentary, you can probably go to goal number 2. Again, timestamps are available in the description down below. So this is the start of the rage-inducing goals. There are uh, three of them, one after the another. So goal number two is, again, one of those goals that makes players quit. So again, rage-inducing, etc, etc. So I attempted to do this at PR 79.3, rather. And while I think it is doable, I didn't have that much patience to do so. So I upgraded my car to PR 81 dead so 81 flat um, this is a two lap race in a five car grid and there are a couple of stipulations here namely that you have to finish within two minutes and 20 seconds and finish with an average speed of 118 mph while maintaining an on an on track presence rather so although you are not required to finish first here it is quite important to gain first place on or before the second corner that way you can actually coast through corner 3 and accelerate as soon as possible to get a few MPH in your score. And a good standard to measure your progress is that you have to have around 118 MPH in your score once you pass that banner before the corkscrew. And every bit of speed counts since you will be surely reducing your average speed in this section coming up, especially here in that last corner. Afterwards, just rinse and repeat for lap 2, this time passing under the same banner before the corkscrew with an average speed of 120 mph. Since you will essentially be losing around 2 mph in your average speed on the last corner, this gives you a good buffer so you can pass the goal while having a good lap time that you won't have to worry about the 2 minutes and 20 second limit at all. Goal number 3 is another rage inducing goal and this is another 2 lapper around the 
Laguna Seca circuit, this time in a 22 car grid. You have to have to hit a top speed of 170 mph and eventually win the race. So since your last you will be starting before the last corner, so once lights go green, try to take this corner flat out and make your way through, uh, I think to about 6th place without touching anyone. You will achieve that 170 mph goal immediately before even managing that first corner. If you've realized that you've overcooked it like I what, what I did, try using the car in front of you as sort of a moving barrier to slow yourself down before corner 1. Once that is out of the way, you will be in about 4th place and your aim now is to catch up to the Vysak, the Elemento and the CX-75 in front of you. As long as you don't go off track, the next bit of this goal, which is to get 1st place, is quite doable as long as your driving style is sort of similar to the one required in goal number 2. Goal number 4 is a head-to-head -head race and your aim here is to attain a top speed of 166 mph while preventing any overheating to happen. Not only this, you are not allowed to go off track nor are you allowed to damage your car. Or in this case, let your car be damaged by your opponent. So it is important to choose when to coast so that you can bring the temperature down in your car. Nevertheless. Uh, the top speed of 166 mph can be achieved by going flat out on corner number 3. So as you can see here, I am coasting, keep the temperature down, that's corner number 1. And this is, I think, cor this is corner number 2. And you have to take this corner, corner number 3, flat out for you to have a chance of getting 166 mph right here before taking on corner number 4. Afterwards, you just have to nurse your car's temperature until you reach the finish line. Coast whenever possible to help aid this. Once you cross the line, it's uh, finished for goal number 4 and it's on to the last goal of the stage and the whole special event.
the last goal is a 5 car elimination event and you are still not allowed to go off track and you have to constantly keep exactly one position above last place. That means after 20 seconds you should be in 4th place and you have to be in 3rd after another 20 and so on and so forth until you reach 1st. Until you finish 1st rather. Compared to the last 3 goals which are really rage inducing and you have to try multiple times I guess to accomplish these, this one is quite doable and there will be little guidance for me that I can give you. And that said, this marks the end of the Furai Rising special event. Thank you guys so much for watching, I will probably not do any of the remaining limited time series in this update as they become available but we shall see, <laughs> actually maybe I'll uh, I'll be not lazy and do these uh, uh, LTSs, but again, we shall see. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I do hope that these last few videos that I made are helpful for you in your um, mobile gaming. <laughs> so, uh, that said, see you in the next video. Later, guys.